Hello and welcome to a new episode from Mac the Tech. This is Muhammad. I am Power BI consultant and I'm here to help you in your Power BI project. I make a small series of episodes that cover different topics in Power BI to guide you and help you in your Power BI journey. I think you will like the content that I'm presenting. And for this, I'm going to ask you to subscribe for this channel, turn on the bell icon to receive notification as soon as I post something new and like and share the episode with your friends that are interested in such content. Without further ado, let's go to the episode and see what today we are going to cover in Power BI. In today's episode, we are going to cover small multiples charts in Power BI. What is small multiple chart in Power BI? And if we go on the Power BI website, create small multiples in Power BI, small multiples, all trilizing splits a visual into multiple versions of itself. The versions are presented side by side with data divided across these versions by chosen dimension. What are these small multiples and how can we do it in a very simple way? But before going into it, I want to show you how you create multiple of the same chart with different using the field parameters. If you didn't watch the field parameter episode, I'm going to leave a link to it in the top section of the screen so that you can watch the field parameters as well. Now, let's move and see what are the small multiples. So for example, in this chart, you see I have the field parameter which shows product family or products or color. Now what I want to do is I want to create the same three charts. So instead of switching between them like this, I want to have one chart for the color and I want to have another chart for the product and another chart for the family, each one at a time. So let me do it like this and put one this one in the middle. And now I have the three charts. All I have to do now, go to the filters. And in the filter here, I will bring the color into this one. So instead of having field parameter here, I'm going to put the color. So from the sample that I put the color here. In this one, I'm going to put the product family, for example. And here I'm going to remove the product family, the product, uh, the field uh, parameter. I'm going to remove the field parameter and put the product. Now I have three charts. Each one of these three charts constitute an axis. One is the product family, one is the product and one is the color. Now, you see, if I want to create multiple, multiple of these, it's time consuming. Every time I have to change the axis, every time I have to change something to reach it. Whereas, if I use small multiples, what happens is something really amazing. Let's see the small multiples in action. So if we go to this chart that we know we have in the X axis, the parameter fields. Now I want to switch things up so that I can have it in a dynamic way, in a more dynamic way. So I'm going to put the parameter field in the small multiple over here. And once I put it in the small multiples, you can see I select the color. I will have four different charts, black, blue, red. But because I have the X axis empty, you can't see the X axis in these four splits. What I will do is I'm going to add the year and I'm going to add the month. And this way, when I drill down, you will see the year and the month down there. And you can see the data, how it's giving the values, whether positive or negative in the four, three charts. Now, to make it more visual to you, I'm going to use or I'm going to format this. So I go to the format visual and I'm going to the small multiples, top, grids. So how many rows do I want? Say I want one row and I want four columns. So this way you can see that I have four different colors and you can see the data down there. Black, blue, green, red. I can add a grid line vertical grid line to show the splits between these four colors. 
So if I change to product, I will see product one, two, three, four. And if I go to product to family, you see family one, two, three, and four. In a very simple way, I can see the four different charts, whatever the, the, the product, whatever the field that I'm using. So if I used product, I can see it. If I use color, I can see the split in color and how the color is acting on a year to month basis. In a simple way, I created four charts. And you can see the split is now like this. You can go to multiple ways to see the multiple grids, the grid lines, the columns that you want to see. Uh, you can change the color to whatever you want. The spacing. So if I make the spacing less or bigger, you can see, you can do with whatever you want. I can add the data label so that you can see them. And you can see, because it doesn't fit here all the data, I can put it, for example, for the years. And you can see here, it's much more visually appealing in the way we are looking at it right now. You can see in 2021, 2022, the color black, blue, green, red. Same, if I go to product to family, I can see these. And it's not only that, you can, in the small multiples, you can do many stuff, not only this one to the visuals yes so it's on the top i can increase the font for the multiple so that you can see it you can see here it's family one family two i can make this one bolder i can give it a different color put it on the middle i can activate text wrap in case the name was too long so now if i change the product if I change to color, you can see immediately it's changing and showing you all these changes. Let me know in the comments what you think of small multiples. I think it's a very useful tip that, to be honest, I use it on a daily basis when I create charts that has different multiples. And these are like a few things that I showed you. You can play with the grid. You can have three rows. You can put them in top on top of each other or in columns let me know what you think that's it for today i hope you liked the episode and if you liked the episode please please write in the comments what did you like and let's open a discussion about the episode and what you think is challenging to you in your power bi project i'm here to help you please reach out if you need any help have a nice day